They're back my little olive air layer that I took off my other olive tree. Last year I let the bottom branch get extremely long before cutting it back. But as you can see, a shoot has started taking off at the end of the stump. And well, I'm gonna let that grow out like crazy too. It has helped thicken the trunk, which is kind of hard to do since I'm growing it in such a tiny pot. So why not just let it do its thing? I don't think I'll keep any of that low branching long term, but for now it's serving a purpose. But you'll notice that it does steal a lot of energy from the rest of the tree. The top is still growing, but not that much, especially compared to how crazy the lower branch is going. So that is a little annoying, but the development of the lower trunk is more important. And even if the top is going slow, it's still developing. And as you can see here, I am actually going to prune it back. So it's all good. I am getting a little branch development and trunk development all at once. This pruning was actually late in the season, but this tree lives under the grow light. So I was hoping that might be able to bounce back in time before winter. So there's nothing really happening in September, but I think that lower branch is still going but you can't even see it all from this angle. And you still can't see how long it is here. It really blows my mind when I see such a small tree putting on so much growth like this. It really makes me wonder how thick I'd get one of these if I had enough room for a huge pot. Anyway, there's nothing happening in November. I just have to wait till the end of winter now until I can do some work. At the start of December, I put it in the shed to have a cold period. I was lowering the light levels throughout autumn to get it ready for this, which is why it stopped growing. But it's an evergreen, so you don't get any colour change or leaf drop. At the end of February, I took it back inside, and it's time to sort it out. But you can quickly see there's only going to be one thing happening here. That long branch is getting chopped, and that's it. The rest is fine. I don't think it put any growth on after that last prune. So hopefully when it wakes up, that area will burst into life. So yeah, that was easy. Now it's all ready for spring. At the end of March, there's still nothing happening, but it should be waking up soon enough. The trees usually wake up pretty quickly when I bring them back inside, and the sudden increase of light and temperature really gets them going. And a few weeks later, the buds are starting to open. They can be hard to see, but there is little green leaves just starting to open all over the place, so it's the perfect time to repot. I just started by removing the moss. That had gotten really thick, and was actually starting to grow up the trunk. I just tried to brush off as much as I could. I didn't add any of that, it all grew on its own. I like it, but I don't want to grow one on the trunk. You can really start to see the benefit of that lower branch. There's a good amount of flare at the base of the trunk. And normally it's quite 2D, it only goes left to right, but it still looks good from this angle. I then tried just to pull it out. This pot is angled in a way that it should just slide out. But you can see it was really stuck in there. It is an aggressive tree in a small pot, so it's going to be full of roots. But I got it out in the end, and as you can see, it's full of roots. I then just tried to break it up and get all the soil out, which took a while. But after a lot of raking, I was left with this, so it's not too bad. But a lot of it is just too long, so I pruned it all back. I didn't really remove much, so I just shortened everything back. It's a decent little root ball, but when I start rotating it here, you can see what I mean by it being very 2D. There is one side that looks kind of flat, and that's fine, I can always hide that or maybe it will develop in the future, but for now I'm happy enough of it. I then put it back in the same pot, it's 
getting a bit tight. That wider section is getting pretty close to the edge. So I'd say this might be the last year I use this pot, but for now it's fine, I can get away with it for another year. In April, there's not a lot happening. It's hopefully going to explode if growth soon. And here we are now. It's a little slow to get going, but it's doing okay. I'm sure it will explode any day now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.